I must get in two pikes, and the attackers have two moles, four short swords, three pole axes, two muskets, short bow, and three pikes. The attackers have quite a bit of cavalry out. Quite a bit of cavalry out. It looks like they've pretty much got the same setup that they just had. Um, Slavs also have a lot of cavalry this time. So they have more cavalry than they had on the last game. They've got a couple of Shenjin. Couple of, I think they've got one unit of Shenjin. They've got one Zakalian militia. The attackers have only got two Shenjin. Three, four Shenjin. No Zakalian. So they've changed their set. That's the you to do me like that. Everyone knows I never make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching you stream and I'm like, where's his where's his voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bob's like, where uh, send me proof. Of your game, <laughs> that says our word is proof of enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually write Bob as well. He's like, oh, you have to do, you have to do me proud. You taking my spot, and I was like, what? So I have to get at least ten unit kills, and then I'm good or what? Yeah. But, just, put, <laughs> just, just say I did you proud, mate. I went down some, uh, went down the tower and fucked up. About as good as King what Alpha you do. King Alpha TV <laughs> raided my stream with 100 viewers. King Alpha with a stream as well. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, King Alpha. Unfortunately, though, there's a five-minute delay. So, thank you for the raid, my dude. Much appreciated. For those that have just dropped in, you're thinking, what the hell's going on? Why is there a five-minute delay? Why am I in a tournament setting? This is CB Rivals, so Conqueror's Blade Rivals. It is a community-driven league. This is the last round. <laughs> this is round seven. At the minute, we have Rose from EU1 against Slabs from EU2. Um, Rose just won their defense, and now Rose are attacking. The Literally, the game went down to the last seconds, though. Um, and Rose just managed to have enough bodies on the point to stop the cap. They actually started with a, a, a like a 14-man sally out as well, so... And JM, did I enjoy the barbecue during the tournament earlier? I absolutely loved it. I love heat. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Although I wasn't that close to a lot of the Zakali militia. I think on the initial push when I went down the stairs, JM, I actually take, took out your unit of militia. Or whoever Zakali they were. I just come down the stairs, got my pikes here, advanced in, seen the Zakali here run through and murked most of them. But uh, I know later on at the back gate here, there was a lot of Zakalians getting thrown. But I think I had already like moved through and tried getting to the back point. A lot of muskets on that gate. Hmm. Four. Are they trying to bomb it to get it down quicker? Or are they getting rid of the artillery? Are they getting rid of the artillery on the yeah. front? Okay. Is Slavs gonna defend the? They've got everything fairly high on the stairs. I think they're gonna defend the wall. You know. Hmm. <laughs> That's who's saying he did. He told me he wants to do that again. <laughs> the funny thing was, before he started in local chat, I was like writing a papa bear, and then I was like writing in local chat just random shit the whole time as well. I think at one point I was like, oh, I, was, I was down beneath the wall here at the barricade, and I was writing in local chat, I'm in my no-no square, so you can't damage me or some shit. Yeah, well, I got ballistic <laughs> just off the Because I was typing about PP. I think we had a more of a conversation than we did a fight in our game. Bouncy night, how are you doing, bud? Right, so let's see if Slavs actually push up onto the wall to protect, uh, to defend A. So far, it's only been Banished that have actually tried that, and we we got annihilated. <laughs> it didn't it didn't go so well. Let's say that. Yeah, how this go? Oh, mini map small as well. Mm. So how are they going to do this? They've got a lot of palace guards out. They've got quite a lot of reapers as well. I think they're maybe actually, yeah, I think they're expecting to fully defend the wall. I wonder if Rose should just go up this back siege tower here with a lot and along it. There's not yeah. actually much at the A point. They'd be able to clear that fairly quickly, I think. By the time this stuff would rotate up, they'd already have control of the A point, and then they could just prep whatever comes up to try and face them. We'll see if they see it, though. They might have a completely different strap, though. Obviously, these guys have uh, been scrimming. 
a few times this week, so they've probably got an idea or any way of what they want to do. They've just got three muskets up on the top of the tower, which have been absolute pains in the arseholes. They've seen the treb. They was lucky that the first one just hit the back wall and didn't really do much. <laughs> and I think they hit themselves more <laughs> than they did the enemy units there, to be fair. Khan was like, that was a shit treb, I'm out. So it looks like they're all going to rotate to the, to the siege tower, I said. I think Slabs have seen it, though. Yeah, they're rotating. They're rotating with a few things already. The only problem they're going to have here is... All's rows have to do, really, is... Set up a solid front, and then just trep the shit out of it for days. They should do pretty good. Iron Reapers being the first unit to get in there are going to do work. But there's so many heroes here, they should be able to get rid of that. It's time. Rows just need to keep putting down the trebs to get rid of these blobs, man. Looks like they're mainly concentrating on this back staircase first. They're just setting up like a front line with Imperial Shields. Probably got some muskets in there as well. Yeah, they're going to keep trebbing. Got... Ooh. Yeah, it didn't do much damage, but it zoned them out. They've got Shenzhen's on the back stairs here. Rose completely outnumbered this lot, so they've absolutely just wiped them. So they're going to get rid of this first, then rotate through there, and they should have the numbers to beat this as well. They're probably going to put another treb down here now. Oh, that's mm -hmm. going to be a good one if they don't see it. Let's watch, watch the juiciness. Oh, they've seen it. Yeah. Oh. Very well timed there. They're charging with multiple units now, though. Oh, a bit too close. I'd say Rose have got the units, though. And they can I keep putting down trebs bomb. as well. Shenjin bombs there, yeah. Some of them hit the, the wall, though. Hero just got thrown off the wall, I believe, as well. Rose are definitely winning the fight, it looks like. I could be wrong, though, but if it, it feels like they're winning. There seems to be more blue units up here than no else. Hero-wise, it's very even. Yeah, they've got it now. Slabs are cutting their losses and pulling back. They've lost most of the units that they had up on the wall. They've got a couple of units back, like Javelins or something, but I don't think they're really that worried. I think, time-wise, they're roughly... They delayed roughly the same amount of time as Rose did with Rose's uh, sally out. We'll see once A gets off, because they had like 10 minutes 30, I believe. Um... Slavs did when they attacked. Like, when they took A, they had 10 minutes 30, yes. Like, to, to, to do the rest of the game, speak, to do the rest of it. We'll see now what the strat is. A couple of times now on the matches, what people have done is, they've left their units up on the walls, basically. Uh, they've full suicided with their heroes. Gone for specialist units, be that shit. Obviously, Falconators and, um, Falconators and Sifferophanoi, the Flamer Boys, have been banned. And then they'd basically suicide on specialist units, die, and then just like all spawn at the back gate, bash it down, and then get like a foothold really quickly. And the defending team normally wouldn't have been able to actually um, react to it in time and stop it. But it looks like Rose are doing completely something different. It looks like they've been very methodical. I say Slavs didn't slow them down as much. But because they've gone back to the, the, the resupply, they've got new units coming back, and it's probably going to be about the same by the time they actually get to the fight. Rose have got a lot of... Actually, they've got a good mix, there. Good handful of cavalry, good handful of decent melee infantry, a couple of pikes, a couple of halberdier sergeants. A lot more cav out for slabs and a lot of outriders, so we'll see if they can actually do the work. Rose basically just need to go mega aggressive, and then you just basically stop the uh, Outriders from actually being able to get their damage off. If they don't have time to do it, then they're not. Who won the first map crazy? It was um, Rose. <laughs> right, so Rose have pushed back up onto the walls with a majority of their stuff. They've got Hawk and Sylphina in the tunnel at the bottom. They've got some cav in the back here as well. I can't help. I feel like this isn't going to work for Rose. I don't know. My gut's telling me... I can't put my finger on what exactly is wrong, but my gut's telling me something's not quite right. <laughs> Although slabs have completely pulled back. They're actually letting Rose get off the stairs. Which is interesting. Look, uh, they just pushed down just heroes again. No, no. they've got units. Look, they've got Madao and all sorts coming in. They've got Halberdier Sergeants. They've got IPGs have just wasted their walk oh. there. They're not going to get much off it. Look at that here, though, man. Armiga's in the back there. So they've basically won the engagement here, Rose has. But... Slabs have got so much cover. 
I think they're going to start getting the hero kill advantage. Yeah, they've dropped two already. Flavs have dropped one, though. They can completely pincer this now. I don't know if Rose are going to have the um, pikes to deal with this. We've got Halberdier Sergeant's facing that way, but if Slavs here realise, they can just charge straight through with this. Fort Brachio are moving. This cavalry, the, this is going to be difficult for Rose to deal with, I think. I don't know if they've got the, the, the pikes to do it. Uh... Mm -hmm. Still got a couple of guys from Slavs in the back, or like one guy blocking the side gate. I think they was expecting when they died for them to spawn at the back gate and come through. I'm going to zoom out and see if we can see out up there. I can't see anything spawning over there. There's a lot of rows dead at the minute though. I got three rows pushing for home. Or two. Huh. One. Like negative PB should just go up in a second. Yeah, Can't yeah, find yeah, yeah, yeah. chase and that, but Rose are still down six heroes though. I think Slabs are giving up the defense down here. Look, they're pulling back. They're gonna get to resupply. They're gonna get new units and probably do like a defensive line here if they're quick enough. If not, they'll pull back to like the back, very back line. Rose are getting the supply. Booter us there with his outriders. He's going to lose a wedge of them to Grey Air Garrison. Javelin's there as well. Slabs have just lost a couple more heroes. Rose is still on 8 though. What are they waiting for? Is their is there death time is so slow? Probably doing Rose have had did. barely any death. They must be waiting, yeah, so they can see where they're going to go. And then they'll all slam in at one point. They've gone mid uh, though. Yeah, middle. They've gone mid. Yeah, they're doing, they did yeah. what we did. I think they were waiting to see if they could... If they should go mid or push over there, but mm -hmm. 650 though, they're gonna have to move fairly quickly unit wise. Rose have lost 425 and that's 500. Look how much cav Rose is though, man. And there's a lot of pikes on slab side, so they might literally just with rock, paper, scissors be able to take this. Mm, I think this is a mistake though for slabs. If Rose realize there's just the majority of their units there, all they have to do is like Fort Abracchio rush through here. And try and if they rotate quick enough, they'd be able to get on point and push them past. Them, and these these will be screwed. Have they seen it though? Got all this stacked up here. You got some guys from Slavs coming around as well. They're probably going to be their cavalry players. They've got a wedge of cav up yet, so there's a good wedge of cavalry coming from Slavs back here. Look, Fort Brachio in the back here to stop a straight charge. But if they come from the side, I sent another mm -hmm. one. Them. They should be fine. Ah. Honestly, Rose need to move as a 15 man and get on the you know. Put a couple of Fort Brachios here to stop the push from behind and just clear the point. Because they've got so much slabs in the back lines here. They're wasting time going after the pike there. there. Rose just lost a hero as well. Three Raccoon just went in with his cavalry. What? Why did Rose... Why are Rose hesitating there? I'm I can't help but feel like that was a lost opportunity for Rose. Obviously, they can't see the map as good as us, so they couldn't see exactly where the units were, but they should have seen that the majority of the, the Slavs guys were here. And if they'd have just pushed through here, like, the distance they would have had is shorter than theirs. They, like, get onto the point. And they should have been able to push past the point and actually start getting some work done on the cat, but... Slavs are in a better position now to get on the point. Look, they've got a lot of their units here, but that's that's not very far to move to get on the point. Fair. Ah, bad trip. Bad trip. I think they were just trying to clip the front of the Fort Brachio, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Well, they've moved um, them back at least. The only thing I can think of what Rose are trying to do is, is basically let the time go down. They've got the hero death advantage, if you like. And I think they're just going to go for one decisive... Saying that's actually completely even. It's 13-13. Maybe just go for, like, one decisive fight. Or try to go for one decisive fight. So you've got Cobra in the back here with his cow. He's going to try getting into these units here. You've got some guys from Slavs trying to get back here, but Balls has got his uh, Fort Brachios there. Or at least somebody's got his Fort Brachios there. Blocked and braced. Hero death-wise, it's very similar so far. There's obviously Brawl going on in the Central Avenue here. These Fort Brachios are so nicely placed that they can't get hit from behind. Juggerson and Poutine is going to try and get through anyway, though. Balls is going to be able to slow them a little bit. Rose has actually got control of the point now, as long as they get rid of the mole here. And they need to start getting the units pushed past, though. 
They broke yeah. through from behind. They're coming I think in. Slabs oh, are going to clear this. Mm. I think Slabs are going to clear this. I don't know. They've got the Forte. Yeah, the Forte's have stopped. Is it Forte's? What is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, they got them down. There's only six uh, slabs in as well. I didn't realize that mm -hmm. they just lost so many. And they don't have many short swords, Rose. So Rose are actually going to be able to clear up here and start getting some cat points off. Push pa push their units past and try blocking these now. Yeah, They've obviously still G. got Trebs and stuff as well. I think, yeah, it's I think they've G got it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Marco's just basically YOLO winning. Scaleless is there as well, but they've only got three other heroes. you got Quacker on the resupply there. I'd... GG, man. Okay, so they were just confident that they were going to win the push and then just basically wasted a bit of time. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. That is a ballsy move, though. If that push would have been fucked up, they would have been screwed. Mm -hmm. Bombed it with the MVP. 4-0, 14, 113 units. Very well played. Shizzy doing extremely well as well. Monteki near the top. Monteki is pretty much always near the top from what I've seen on Rose. He plays so consistently good, man. Berserker mode as well, doing extremely well. Negative PB also. Absolutely smashing. Look at the defs as well. Both teams have got low defs though. If we look at the stats, I think both of them are very similar. Yes, well, 17, 27, all right. Up until that last engagement, it was pretty much bang on. Cool, but... Both matches were close though, man. Yeah. Obviously, the first round was a lot closer than this one. A lot yeah, close. That was that was just a few away, seconds. Yeah. If they'd have had like maybe another thirty seconds, I think they might have actually been able to get it. Um GG both teams. Congrats to Rose as well for getting the victory. So if we look at the table, I believe both of those teams are now on the exact same amount uh, like results wise. 